start streaming, correct? All right, excellent connection. Developmentally speaking is live. Big screen. All right, let's see. Let's see if it worked. Uh, developmentally speaking. Developmentally speaking is live. Okay, okay. Okay, we are live, pal. Uh, okay. Okay, so I think that's different now. Okay. Let's see if we can get any of these fine, fine folks in here. Because we got some business to talk. Yep, 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 yep. Wish these people would. Come on, come on. Alright, there's there's two people. Okay, sorry for all the technical mumbo jumbo. I, I'm an idiot. Uh, as you can see, we're doing stuff a little bit differently. Trying some stuff out. Morty? Yeah. You can sit there like a bump on a log or you're going to talk? Hey everybody, I'm Morty. I'm... And I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is... Developmentally speaking. Oh, my camera went yeah. right. There it is. There it is. Whoop, whoop. Did you share the right one? No, I shared the other one, and then, yeah. I mean, if I get out here, it might kick me again, so it'll be okay. People people, people will trickle in. It'll be okay. Dick trickle. All right, all right, they're trickling. Okay, 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 there's three in here now. Okay, sorry for all this mess up. I set up a studio in my house now, and Morty's going to work on his, and life is golden. Uh, Morty, do you know what tomorrow is? Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's uh, the day, the uh, uh, two days before Thanksgiving. It is. But it's also the one year anniversary of development and speaking. And I don't know what happened. Well, wow, that was a quick year. Yep. Uh, we have, I tell you what, it froze on the best yeah. basic football. Yeah, we uh, you know what? it damn. froze on the best face it could on you. It's great. So one year ago tomorrow, and I'll I'll make a little video. You know, because I'm a sappy bitch. Uh, <laughs> You're sappy. Uh, one bitch, year, so. one year ago tomorrow, we started this journey, uh, and it has been a fast year. I feel like it's grown a lot in its first year. Uh, I, my expectations, it, it's exceeded them. You know, we're, we're, the, rest, the wrestling community seems to uh, be on board with what we're doing here. And, um, yeah, for sure. The, um, I, I think the actual, when you say wrestling community, I think it, it's we're we have more of a following in the um like independent wrestler community mm -hmm. and like former like professional level like wwe wcw mm -hmm. um people um we we're, i think that's where a lot of our followers come from um you know trying to expand out into getting you know the wrestling fan is where we're trying to expand now and uh, I think the conventions help a lot to get that. Oh yeah! Um, so we did three but, in the yeah. year that we've doing we've done that we've done three conventions, right? Um. Oh, we were supposed to do four. five. Four. We've done four. 
Yeah, we did uh, we did um, Squared Circle Expo. We did Heroes and Legends, both in um, Sevierville and in um, Fort Wayne. And then we did Chillicothe. Oh, we did do Chillicothe. I forgot. Four, so four in a year. Um, there's a couple more for next year. We were supposed to do two more, but uh, they got One canceled. Got canceled right? They yeah. both got canceled, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. So we're doing Squared Circle. Next year we're doing Chillicothe again. Um, I, I thought about maybe doing like a, a horror hound or something. Yeah. You know. Throwing out you know, just different ones. Yeah. I want to do I want to do I want to do a mini con in Seymour. I know you and Rip were talking about that. Yeah. Um. Uh. Indy Popcon or Pop? There's a Popcon in Indy. And now they're going to Louisville for the first time next year, so that mm-hmm. might be worth checking out. Um. So developmentally speaking, is growing. Um. Mm-hmm. This is the first season that we've had an interview for every episode, so that that right there shows you it's growing. You know what I mean? Right. Um. um you know, I'm spitballing here. I, uh, you know. I don't know if it would be more or less beneficial to have a booth at like a pop convention or something like that. Maybe if it was just you and I walking and handing out our business cards instead of actually getting a booth um, at like one of those pop conventions. You know what I'm saying? As of those, you know, it, it's going to be. Um, if you don't have action figures or something to sell, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to get that many people to come to the booth. You would have to have a gimmick more than just, "Hey, we're a wrestling podcast." At a wrestling convention, that works. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking you might even be able to save money. You know, in a way, we'd be able to save money by just buying passes to the convention itself, mm-hmm. and just taking taking fanny packs full of cards that's true I said you saved me a couple hundred bucks there <laughs> yeah um so they're, they're talking Wrestlemania next year obviously is in Los Angeles the following year is in Philly yep and they're saying the year after is Nashville ooh so you might have to that's do two, two manias back to back mm-hmm, maybe might be good. Nashville will be good. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Um. So the, uh, glow up is is going to grow. I can't talk about everything just yet. But I got another email today. Uh, they're working on it. Um. They're cool. trying to uh, block off basically these Set wrestlers. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying to clear everything. So like, this is our time weekly to to interview. Oh, cool. So uh, he reached back out today. So they're working on it, which which is good. Um, it means we're fresh in their mind. So hopefully everything pans out because that that'll be good. Um, yeah. More glow ladies are coming on. Um, BC actually just. I just sent BC a message. She accepted my friend request, so working on that. Good. Working on a couple others. Um, I'd like to do more independent spotlights that we did, like uh, yes. the one we just watched for Jackson Black. So, yeah. So if any independent wrestlers are watching this now or later, send us a message if you're interested. Oh yeah. Uh, I feel like it's good. Yeah, for sure. I mean. Any type of uh, wrestling content is wrestling content. You know, that's the way I look at it. Um, also need to get with uh, Vito, do some more donut holes. That's very true. Yeah. Sure. So, Timmy Baltimore this week. Uh, mm-hmm. For those of you that don't know Timmy, that interview is about an hour long. Uh, he's very insightful, very helpful. Uh, Timmy's main goal was to help us get where we need to be, I feel. 
Mm -hmm. um, very supportive. Uh, one of the first people to actually just want to help. Like, genuinely want to help. Um, open some doors. We're, now. we're bringing up close. That's oh, what we're God. doing. Uh, Paul, Paul Burchell <laughs> sent me a text and said... Uh, he appreciated the interview. Would love to come back on. Uh, for those of you that don't Man, know, that one had, ended kind of weird. We had a hell of a time. Cat, we had a hell of a time filming that. He was at uh, his doctor's office and the firewall, and yeah, it was rough. But yeah. we got we we squeaked through it. But I mean, it ended abruptly because he had to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Paul yeah. Mitchell will be back on. Um, There's a couple other people that are coming on. Uh, our good, our good buddy Jackson Black is uh, securing that interview for us. Mm-hmm. Um, he's trying to help us get another one too. He he's going to jump on the podcast uh, with Ken Shamrock. Uh, he's going to jump on someone with someone who's interviewing Shamrock, and I'd love to have Shamrock on here. You know? Wow. Yeah. Um, That'd be cool. One year of developmentally speaking. Yeah, one whole year. There, there's so many people to thank, and uh, I possibly couldn't name them all. Uh, but the goal is to get everyone on that we haven't interviewed, but we've done like we've covered. Uh, for those of you, because a lot of you have been asking about the damager. Uh, I sent I sent some feelers out today uh, about Mr. Holly coming on, so hopefully this works. Um, I have sent some feelers out for Rivera Conway as well. Mm -hmm. Did you get on um, the monster? No. Did the cat attack you? He is. He's attacking everything. It's my kid's cat, wow. so. You got to lay right there? Is that, I mean, what are you looking at, frumpy? <laughs> <laughs> so, so <yes>. Frumpy. <laughs> so, no, we're trying to... Um, Expand and grow, and I got to do a little more marketing. I feel like we're in the uh, market to get sponsors now, more sponsors. We've reached a, th a certain threshold, and I feel like it'd be very beneficial, and we've been tossed around this idea for a while. So if there's anybody mm -hmm. watching that, you know, wants to uh, work with us, you know, $1,000 an hour, you know, minimum <laughs> of five ads per hour. <laughs> Wow. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming. Um, there is, uh, they started the first ever Women's Hall of Fame in professional wrestling, and the Glow Ladies, all of them as a whole, is part of the first class. Well, that's always good. Along with Medusa. Cool. You, know, you know my feelings on Medusa. Miss Alundra Blaze. Um, and a couple cool. others. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some stuff with that and help promote that a little Sorry. bit um, what else we're adjusting would you knock it off sorry so the women I want to try to I want to try to do some spotlights on enhancement talent okay well I want to do but you know we tried. I'm gonna try again with that one. Um, oh, we got some yeah. people in here now. Mason, y'all right. lame. Mason, shut your mouth, Beetle. What did he say? He said we're lame. Oh well, yeah, pretty we lame. Can, we could live stream us kicking in your door. <laughs> uh, Matt, Morty, my bad. We're oh, breaking. Okay. The, we're breaking the fourth wall here. Uh, Brian, I mean, Brian. 
Um, there is an interview slated for January now. His schedule is booked until then, but uh, one that you would like, Mr. Lash LaRue, will be coming on. No way! <laughs> You're kidding me! No, no, no. He uh, reached out on Twitter, and uh, we've, we've oh been... Oh, my God. We've been talking here and there, back and forth. Go Lash LaRue. And there's a couple other people. Uh, one was in Chillicothe... He's a, uh, a wrestler. Uh, I reached out to him. He had a good look. He was blonde. Looked like a young Hunter Hearst Helmsley over in Chillicothe. Okay. Um, okay. He was he was over across the way there. Um, oh, so was he over next to um, was he next to like Shane Douglas? Yes, yes. So okay. I, I reached out to him. Uh, he's currently down in Florida training MMA with Matt Riddle and Shinsuke Nakamura. So we're trying to get some stuff set up with him. I I like his look. I feel like, you know, he's got something to bring to the table, so I wanted to reach out. All right. And um, I'd love to have Ace Perry, Trip Cassidy, uh, Sage Phillips. There, there's a couple other people I'd love to just that first, you know. The independent spotlight will be good. Um, oh, yeah. Sure. Um. I, I'm sure I could probably get a lot of those lined up. I work, on a, I work on shows with them every now and again. Sage, I work on a lot. Of, I've worked on more shows with than all of the rest of them, I think, probably. You know, Virgil with the meat sauce said it sounds incredible, but that was the last of our conversation. <laughs> um, How much meat sauce did you offer? <laughs> Uh, Ian Riccoboni reached out to him. He cannot do it right now, but I told him I'd reach out later. I get there's a lot of stuff. He, he's always working. You know who Ian is? Ring of Honor commentator. Who? Ring of oh, Honor yeah. commentator. Okay. Um, ew. Sorry. Cat got you good. He did. Um, been talking to Dutch and a couple others. Chris okay. Russo, all kinds of people. Um, <laughs> Chris, not Vince, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, there was a. Oh, there was one guy. There's another one too. Another Ring of Honor child. We got to get set up. Um. There's all kinds of people coming on. Cool. Uh, did you hear about uh, Jeremiah's dad? I did not. He passed away yesterday. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah well, Plunkett uh, will be this Friday's Connecting Through Wrestling episode. Well, my condolences to him and his family. Yes. That's never fun. No, that's rough. Yeah. Um, so we will continue to work with the NWA. Um, so see more of that. And then we're going to work with another wrestling company as well. Uh, just waiting for the green light on that. And I'll be excited to mm -hmm. announce that. Um, talking with OVW too, which is only right. Right. Bringing some people in. Um, if, we could bring, if we could bring the veteran Jack Vaughn on, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know you're looking forward to that. Um... There's so much I want to talk about, but we can't talk about it at this point in time. Just know that there's big things coming. Right, because there's nothing certain. You know, not there's only a few things that are certain, and the, you know, setting up setting up interviews with wrestlers and and people and beyond is not it's not simple. It's no. uh, because you know half of them half of them can't do it. The other half can, but forget that they said they would. <laughs> So it's, you know, you gotta... I, I know we've had an issue um, with a certain talent. It's not necessarily an issue. Um, timing, like it was really, there was supposed to be, you know, um, episode one of season four was supposed to be a different route. Uh, still trying to, to work on this and get this person in. And um, it just takes time. Everybody schedules are busy. And, um, mm hmm so you know wrestling is wrestling is what i want to do this stuff full time um it took me a while 
to do this, you can ask Morty like I what is it? I, I, I have a hard time pulling the trigger as you say, and I have because I have fear of failure. Mm-hmm. Uh this mm-hmm. last year has been very therapeutic. And I, I pull the trigger every time. Right? With a little motivation, yeah. <laughs> But now I, I I'm comfortable. I'm good. I'm in my zone. I'm I'm right. uh, just like your 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 fear is no one's gonna watch it. But like since episode one, like that one was strong out the gate, and you made the right call with starting this whole journey off with Rob Conway. Mm-hmm. And for sure, really went well, you know, and we've had some. We've had Jacob the Carpetbagger, our GT85. I think that's the only two non-wrestling people, right? I believe so. Yeah. And then... I mean, you were in talks with a few TikTokers that were possibly going to come on, but that, that didn't really come to fruition. I remember that. Um... One person... You know what? I need to reach back out because one person got sick. And, uh, mm-hmm. which would have been a fun time. Oh my God. I, I've been watching that person for ever. It would have been a fun Like time. before they were on TikTok. I've been watching them when they were on fa- doing Facebook videos originally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Hash so, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that didn't see our post, we just interviewed with, uh, Brian Kendrick. Last week, right? Yeah, a couple a couple days ago. Yeah, a couple days ago. Um, one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh look, your boys are here. And let me tell you something before we get started. This right here, my friend. This is not a pod shed. Okay. Oh yeah, we're not in the pod shed. No, no, we're just we're, we're, I'm, we're I'm relaxed. I'm relaxing in my bedroom. I don't. Even, I'll let everybody know. I don't care. I'm just chilling. We're making them dollar bills now. YouTube's is paying us. <laughs> oh, well, that really. was why. Yeah. 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 But um, there, there's a lot coming, and there's more coming, and uh, I got a hard time. I can't talk about that yet. Hopefully, after the first of the year, we can talk about some more stuff. But uh, yeah. That'll be fun. Um, more interviews, more companies coming on board. Um, mm-hmm. Can I just say that, like, CM Punk put up, ruined everything for everybody, <laughs> <laughs> including yeah, the show. Yeah. Yeah, there was supposed to be some AEW talent coming on, but ever since you know that media scrum, can't do nothing right now. Which I get, you know, on AEW standpoint. When the fit hit the shan, we were screwed from then on. We were this close to having some AEW talent on, and then mm-hmm. Oh Wrestling Inc. had to ask the question and screwed us. Thanks, Wrestling Inc. Yeah. You jerks. But, uh, oh, Wells Mania got a job at Wrestling Inc. there. Really? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. That's good stuff. He's a good guy. Yep. Yeah, um, I would like, uh, you know, I, I think I want to do this more for, you know, I, I, even if nobody watches it, I kind of, I, I, I would like to do, um, a, a segment doesn't even have to be a, a I don't know how, how, how I would do it but I'd like to get with people from my wrestling career and just tell stories mm-hmm. from what we you know what we've done together in the past just to have it documented and just you know tell dumb wrestling stories of what you know get Draven on here get you know Roger or somebody, you know, anybody, and just talk to them about it. I think it'd be get Mason, Johnny Justice, you know, just people on there and shoot the breeze about what we used to do. I mean, I, it wasn't anything uh, 
earth shattering or you know world changing but yeah. you know it would it, it'll always be a part of my life mm-hmm. i think some other people would like to hear the stories you know what i mean i could uh talk about the time that myself jason Ayers, jenny gargano brody lee uh, possibly Kalisto and Jimmy Jacobs were driving to New York, and I split a deer in two. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Woke everybody up on that one. <laughs> he cut. He cut that deer in twain. I saw it coming. I there's nothing I could do. The only right. deer. I, yeah, we're going to New York City, and I just bam. What'd you hit it with a minivan? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It was Mark Houston's minivan. You remember Mark Houston? Yeah, barely. Yeah. He, he's from Lafayette, so he was a cowboy, and he did a tryout with WWE, and then they mm-hmm. gave his gimmick to old Skip Sheffield. Oh. Oh, Ryback. Uh, Skip Full Sheffield. Gear. So I, I checked out Full Gear. Uh, Obviously, MJF is what's good for business, you know. Any, any, you know, he motorboated on his way to the ring, and um, what? Regal, yeah, he asked this lady if he could motor, Cat. if he could motorboat her on the way to the ring, and she said yeah, and he did it, and then Regal slipped in the brass next and he won the title. Wow! Wow! In a world we live in now, you wouldn't think that people would go out and motorboat in public, but. Maybe well, we you know, te- uh, I'm over here thinking, man, that that that's just what you know. That's that's what wrestling needs. I mean, it's finally coming back. I remember back in the back in the '80s, whenever Hulk would have the title, he'd you know walk out there, find the nearest broad, and motorboat the shit out of her, and then <laughs> go to the ring. You know, that's the, <laughs> that's, that's that's what wrestling needs. It's, I'm glad they finally brought it back. You know, all the warrior, <laughs> Of the lawyer run into the ring. He'd stop and look at a woman and be like, blah, 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 and then just run all the way to the rest of the ring and win that and, match. You know, that's, and win the gold, you know, baby. Exactly, exactly what wrestling needs. Bring it back. You know, you know <laughs> hashtag motorboat for the belt. You know, people haven't really told us who they'd like to have come on the show. Well, they very few. Right, um, and my favorite is when people are like, "You need to bring on Stone Cold Steve Austin. You need to bring on the Undertaker, please." Like, uh, what? Not not happening. Um, yet. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not we're not nowhere near that. Although I do have the contact for that. TJ gave it to me. Um, just what? Not there, just not there yet. You know. Um. What was I gonna say? The cat, you know, we're lying. You're gonna out. say that the uh, the mighty con- the mighty con- is the powerhouse of the cell. Sure. Was that what you were gonna say? Sure. That's what I thought. Um, I knew you were. I guess we should Whoa. put over we should put over our friends over on the learning the ropes. Correct. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you hung out with them. I did. I met him for the first time. Um, SmackDown came to town. Um, they gave me some tickets. Uh, Morty, you were at a family get together. Cause I called you. Probably. Yeah. I don't recall. I think so. Yeah, yeah, you were you were in Scottsburg. Yes, that's where I was. Yeah. You are correct. So they gave me uh, some extra tickets, and I knew that they were up top. So when I got there, I asked them for a phone number, called them, put them on the floor, and uh, they had they had a good time. Um, nice guys, mm-hmm. and they do something. They do a show over on Twitch too, and they got a YouTube channel, and um, it's Cole TV, correct? Mm-hmm. Cole TV, C O L E space TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, good stuff. Uh, your your buddy wants to know is jealous that nobody is motorboating you. Um, absolutely. Uh, it, it's uh, it's getting colder outside. Um, and uh, I would love to have a nice 
pair of warm jowls between my breast to seize, um, to keep me warm. You know, that's, that's what I live for. I, uh, you know, nothing more than <laughs> some warm jowls going betwixt my breasts. That's, that's what I want. Certainly, you know, we got whatever to get the views up, you know, we're working hard here. Um, we're sitting right, there. You know, go ahead. I, I, I was, you just cut out. Uh, so we're sitting at 407. We're on the road to 500. You know, it helps if people oh, just hit the, you know, the road. We're on the road. That's what, that's what that means? We're on the road to 500? Uh, how do we like achieve? Go ahead. It sounds be like we're on the road to 408. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, had the appliance man not canceled his convention in uh, Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> we could have promoted a little bit more. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, man, brother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. So you got a show. So is the Connorsville show before the one you're doing in Seymour? No, my next show is December 11th. It's the Second Sunday of December in Seymour, Indiana at Race and Masons. It's uh, Supreme Wrestling. Um, it's at 3 p.m. Tickets are 10 bucks. Um, it's a it's a fun, you know, it, it's pretty cool. Being, it's like a matinee show being in, at 3 p.m. It, it, you're, you'll probably be out of there by 5 um, or even not earlier. Um, it's usually about six matches and uh, lasts about an hour and, 40, hour and a half, hour and 45 uh, as opposed to the two two and a half hour shows that you usually get when you go to like a Saturday night show, so you know it, you can go go to church, go to Arby's afterwards, get your get your lunch, and then go to go to the, go to the uh, wrestling show. Dustin Veld Veldhausen says hello. Hello, 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 sir. Did you see Dan Housen went full blown evil? Yeah, I, I feel like it's just going to be one of those things that he brings out every now and again. It's going to be like uh, um, the Finn Balor's demon. True. Uh, which, know anything? I don't under- right. Which I don't understand that concept. Like, let me put it this way: like, why, why would you have a? Okay, so the demon was undefeated for a long time, right? No pod chat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So the demon was undefeated for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case, why don't you just always wrestle as the demon? Brother man, do you want to sit in that makeup chair that long? But I'm talking about, I'm talking about thought-wise, like yeah. storyline-wise. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the makeup. I'm talking about... The demon all the time. It's just, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't make a... It does... <laughs> It doesn't make sense to me. If That's you, true. If you have another gimmick that is undefeated, mm-hmm. that you know is tougher than you normally, then why would you not want to be your best self in that ring, storyline wise? That's true. Do you know anything about New Wave and Terra Haute? New Wave Wrestling and Terra Haute. Are they in Shelbyville? Um, not in Terra Haute, are they? I, huh? New Wave. No, New Wave is in Terre Haute. Who's, who's in Shelbyville? New Era. New Era. New Wave. Uh, New Wave is run by Mikey Guest. That sounds right. Um, I worked for... So there's... In Terre Haute, there was New Wave, and then Hybrid Championship Wrestling came out. Um, and I don't know exactly how, how it worked, but I, I heard that there was like a little bit of heat between the two companies. I don't really know if that's true or not, but um, uh, so don't quote me on that. But I did work for HCW uh, mm-hmm. for two shows. Um, mm-hmm. but Until they fired they, your ass. They fired my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's from uh, he's from uh, BACC Talk. He's a big wrestling fan. Well, you came to the right place, sir. Anyway, right. sorry. Back to you getting your ass fired. Right, which I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm not really. I'm not. <laughs> it was, it was just. 
So you're going to Rick Root it and go to New Wave? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. I'm, um, we'll shut them down, bud. To the, no, to, to, I wish them the best. It's it's a young sh- it's a yeah. it's a young show ran by young people, mm-hmm. um, and for not having very much booking experience, the shows yeah. were decent. I mean, they were Good. you know they were very heavy on the high spots, um, but I thought that you know we brought a little bit of balance to it. But they said that that Gaston was a good enough heel that he didn't need a manager. Basically, so you know, and that's fine. I'm not, okay. I'm not butt hurt about it. It's, yeah. it's, it is what it is. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, what grinds my gears. I, sorry for cutting you off. Finish. What grinds your gears? Um, you know, I'm assuming, um, friction. It will. New Wave reached out to uh, BACC. Didn't know if they were decent people. What? What uh, business did they want with you, sir? Um, as far as I know, he's a nice guy. Um, he's been running for a long time. I haven't heard anything negative about him. Right. Um, Me neither. What grinds my gears is Indianapolis. They have wrestling. Um like, I, I noticed that there was, uh, there's all kinds of, like, promotions in Indy, but they're not well advertised. Does that make sense? Right. One second. Ugh. If you come at me again. Sorry. I had to adjust. Um, You're fine. Well, I mean, they have, uh, um. Well, BAC, you could sponsor us. Mean, I don't want to get. I don't want to get too uh, into deep, because yep. I don't. You know, I, I try not. I try not to get caught up in all the um, drama and heat and stuff. But there's WCWO up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, used to be ran by Don Basher. Uh, may you rest in peace. Um, but uh, they've had some issues with uh, talent that is. Uh, Sexually deviant, I guess. Is that a good way to put it? Stranger dangers, yes. Um, basically, uh, they've had some issues with that, um, unfortunately. And then, um, man, I, I've never worked for any other company up at W, up at Indy. Um, well, I see that they're, they're they're starting to get like a um, there's a lot of death match stuff going on up there. And that's not my cup of tea. Oh, AWR. Any. AWR's Say, there's there. nothing wrong. Like it's just not for me. Like I when I travel with Dragon Gate and um, Evolve, like CZW would usually tag along. Um, when we do like WrestleMania <laughs> Week at WrestleCon, it was just never my thing. Uh, That'll never be my thing. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see live one thing, but uh, it's, it's just not my my bag. I know Dale Patrick's loves it. There's a couple other people that love it. <clears throat> um, but like it's not well advertised up there. Uh, they, there was a promotion called Circle Six that was up there, and like I, I, I didn't know, I know anything about it. Is it Asylum Wrestling Revolution? I don't know. It's uh, AWR. They they run out of the Emerson Theater up there. They're they're like half death match, half normal show. And there's um, Wrestle Arts, um, run by John Barker. Uh, he he does uh, Skull and Mortar. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, check him out. He he cooks and uh, he makes his own sauce. And he's nice. a good guy. He was at uh, SmackDown with uh, Caliber and all them uh, when I was up there. Cool. Um, he's a nice guy. He did, he runs Wrestle Arts. Cool. Um, um, so, what were you saying about uh, New Wave and BACC again? Uh, they reached out to collaborate and sponsor their event, but we all know that BACC, if they're going to sponsor anyone, it's going to be us. So, <laughs> I mean, you start, well, you, know, you know, come on the show and not. Well, them. they must have one of the BACC guys must live up in Deer Hood. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I know two of them are out here. Some of them are up there in, in, in that area, I think. I'm not quite sure. 
Um, but yeah, when it comes to, and I, um, I will say this, not butthurt about HCW. However, I will say I find it awfully humorous that they didn't want. They, I think they just don't want managers on the show, or I don't. I don't know for sure, but you know, they, they one of their biggest sponsors is the uh, Hoosier Wrestling Alliance. They sponsor matches a lot, mm-hmm. and I was I was just given the award of Manager of the Year 2022 by the Hoosier Wrestling Alliance. So, <laughs> um. Okay, it's cool, you know, uh, which it's an honor to be, you know, been in the business for, you know, 12 years, and I, you know, I've had manager of the year in Supreme Wrestling multiple times, but to have one that's, you know, that covers the entire state of Indiana, you know, I'm, it's, it's an honor for me. What about podcast of the year, huh? Huh? I don't think, I don't think they have, I don't think they have that, but. Uh, oh, we're not there yet. You know, um, but yeah, manager of the year, you know, I think that's pretty good considering I work a part time schedule now. <laughs> yeah. Man, there's, there's just so much stuff coming. Um, I'm excited, and I, and I hope uh, you guys get off Cornette. He, listen, James E. Cornette is a saint. And I don't, I don't know what the problem is here, you know. Uh, Jimmy is what his friends call him. You know, Jimmy's a friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't have you come in here and uh, speak ill of James E. Cornett. <laughs> I want to know why he blocked. I want to know why he blocked you. That's I mean, it's out of the ordinary for Cornett to block anybody. So you had right. to say something. I mean... You had to say something real dumb. All you got to say is hot tub and you get, you get, get blocked. Oh, I just got blocked, didn't I? You, you speak for yourself. I want Cornette on the show, bud. Well, I do too. I won't talk about it. Um, the Aqua Jet 9000. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, with it, with it being the one year anniversary tomorrow. I gotta, we're going to be uh, on iHeart, on Spotify, on Apple, on all that. You know, we've, it's been a delay. This is mainly just a YouTube-based show. It's growing. Um, and it just needs to be on every platform, I feel. Uh, for, we just need to cover every avenue and uh, work our way up. Climb every mountain. <laughs> And I would like to do more conventions, and uh, I think that y- your idea of just going and passing out cards is a good idea. Yeah. I mean, so. at regular conventions, like pop culture conventions, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, there's been some people in here tonight, so who, who would you like to see come on the show? Uh, the last time we were live, Larry Zbysko called... Um, that was crazy. Uh, How's that going? Good. We just got to get everything, like, coordinated. And I feel like with the a setup being here and a setup being there, it's probably a lot easier. We're like, right. hey, I'll be, I'll be back in, like, a half an hour. We don't have to devote so much time in one night if necessary. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. bust. I haven't said that word in a while. Uh... It's just, it's growing in in more ways than one. Um, God, there's just so much I want to talk about, but I can't. Uh, And and, I mean, mean, going forward, like, like, you know, not every podcast, and, and, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say here, not not every podcast will necessarily have both of us together. I mean, you know, because I'm very busy, and, you know, there's moments where, um, I won't be able to do it. And Mm -hmm. so you'll have to, I mean, you've got your setup there now where you could take the reins and just do it. Um, I mean, I hate the fact that I have to miss some of them, but uh, life is busy and um, I have to be able to, you know, balance life and podcast and wrestling and 
you know, working two different jobs and, you know, all that. So, yeah. And I'm trying to leave my job and just do this. And it's getting there, but it's not there. I mean, I wouldn't say where I'm, the finish line is nowhere near right now. I mean, tomorrow is the one year anniversary of, of starting this journey. So, um,. I think that some of the things we cannot talk about yet when they come into play in 2023, if my plan goes accordingly, and we talked about this at length on the way back from Fort Wayne, uh, it would definitely skyrocket a lot and put a lot more eyes on the whole project as a whole. Right. So, um... That's what's exciting. Yeah. Is, um... It's not hard. People make it hard. Does that make sense? Um, and I think that that's why so many people are willing to come on to the show is because we don't dig for heat. We don't dig for, um, dirt. Just like, okay, so Tugboat's coming on, right? <coughs> I'm not going to talk uh-huh. about... Sh- I'm not going to talk about Shockmaster. I want to talk about Shockmaster. No. Right. That's, that's the question everybody has. We don't do that here. Um, his brother in law is having uh, open heart surgery, I believe he messaged me. So it, it's delayed, but it, but he will be here. Um, awesome. That's good stuff. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred Altman. Yep. I'll be cool. Uh, the Mounties coming. Lash LaRue's coming. I'm the Mounties. Who? Did you know Lash LaRue? Oh, I was so excited. Do you know the Mountie? Yeah. So the Mountie was originally supposed to do this last week, right? Uh, he did the Mass Singer over in a different country. That's why he couldn't do it. What? Yeah. What country? What country you do it in? I don't know. If you go to his Facebook, yeah, that's what he was doing. So. Um, no shit. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more coming. Uh, the glow stat, the glow up as a whole. So I, I released a video. We're covering all women's wrestling from all promotions from around the globe, from um, legends to past to present to future. It's it's a big spotlight. Got seven people in here. We're going, baby. Choo choo. Might even get a little freight train on here. We can talk about five dollar wrestling. Meep, meep. Oh, that'd uh, be cool. But uh, Glow Up is definitely expanding. Um, Rock and Robin's coming. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she doesn't do much, uh, so that's nice. Um, right. I mean, that's one thing that we've been really good about is we've been getting the interviews that not a lot of people can get, like you said. Like uh, Susie Spirit. How many Susie Spirit interviews have you found? Like, you know. That's, how many yeah, how many like, Paul Birchall interviews have you found? Yeah. Uh, well, Seth Skyfire's coming on. Seth Skyfire's mm-hmm. coming on. He's That's a good get, one. Yeah. Um, who else? There's a lot. And it, it, it's... So, like, when we do this show, there there's slow times and then there's busy times. And, like, when it's busy, it is, like... It's busy. And like, well, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be slow right now because it's the, the holidays. Yeah. So I mean, so I mean, if if there's a a delay between you know some releases, you know, I believe people are gonna be a little forgiving because like especially like, you know, the week of Christmas, like. <laughs> no. So I'll go ahead and say that Glow Up's probably not gonna return until January, just mainly because of the deal that we're setting up right now. It, it's gonna it's gonna put a whole different spotlight on the developmentally speaking brand. So once that goes through, um, then like that's that's for sure weekly, weekly, week, nonstop. And there won't be. I don't think we need to do a season. I think it'll just be a weekly show. Right. So that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. Um, that's right up our alley. Um, yeah. Lady Lady Frost just become a free agent. I'm gonna reach out to her. I think she'd be a nice one to do. Um, you see all the new announcements for like 
uh, squared circle, like Victoria's coming, obviously. We got to get oh yeah, our shit in when she comes. and. <laughs> <laughs> Um, MJ MJF. Hopefully, be... hopefully by the hopefully by then. Um, oh, another personal announcement. I guess uh, I started a diet today, so mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's a I, I have a health coach and everything. So uh, hopefully by the time the Squared Circle Expo gets here, I'll be able to run around there a little bit faster, passing cards out. <laughs> And, I mean, you do hustle and bustle, my friend. Yeah. You were all over the place. I'd like to get old uh, Goose Mahoney just like the post. I think Goose needs to come. Goose Mahoney? Yeah. Like what post? The one for this video? For uh, Timmy Baltimore. Oh, nice. So, Goose, if you're watching, love to have you on, buddy. Yeah. Um, you should mess with it. I will. After we're done here, I will. Uh, Goose was a referee. Uh, now he works for um, Jim Henson Company, I think. Does he really? Which is cool. I mean, Seth Skyfire works for Tom Savini. So, like, it, oh. it, it's cool shit. Susie that Spirit is, cool. is, like, the the lawyer for, like, EA Sports when it comes to video games and shit. Um. So clearly, she's gonna be the lawyer for this. <laughs> branding, branding is is what she's good at. Um, we did Heroes and Legends of Fort Wayne. Got to meet Hollywood. Nicest, nice lady, nice lady. Yeah. Um, really well. Got to you know my buddy Doctor Tom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good friend, go go way back. Henry Godwin, I gotta get we gotta get the Midian interview set up. Um, oh man, for sure, for sure. That's yeah. What a nice guy. Uh, Tony Atlas, you know, I know you're you're a big Tony Atlas guy. Um, I'd like <laughs> I'd like I'd like to get Jimmy Yang on. Um, um, he was really rude to that guy. God, <laughs> he was so mean to that guy. Listen, the man was hungry, okay? So, that doesn't give the right to be a dick. I'm not saying Tony Atlas was a dick. What I am saying is, how many people Tony do Atlas you see? How many people do you see carting around? Like full course meals at a convention, and I can't like don't get mad that he doesn't does it have yeah shrimp scampi on a plate, you know? Okay, which so I get. Okay, I'm not saying it was dick. I tell you what made me mad, and you might as well just talk. I helped that lady set up her stuff, and then she wanted to like charge us. Well, how much? How much you get? You ain't getting nothing, lady. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh God! I think she was new to the game. I mean, clearly, it's like it's, so. Yeah, we walk up. I'll tell the whole story. I don't care right now. So yeah, Tony Atlas shows up with his sponsor, and she's having trouble set set up her booth. So Brian goes over and helps her set it up. Took him fifteen minutes to figure it out, but he got it. He yep. got there. He got it set up, and uh, he's leaving. He doesn't okay. want to face me. I'm he doesn't sorry. want his face to be connected to the story. But yeah, Tony <laughs> Atlas shows up and he helps Brian helps him get set up and then uh, we go over and I take a card and introduce myself, introduce Brian and say, we have a podcast and he and Tony was nice to give him some advice. He's like, hey, you should just bring your camera with you and do interviews in person you know, at the conventions. Well, I which yeah if we did like two or three question interviews that would work but you know we do more than that but yeah. as soon as he got done saying that the lady around the booth was like so if you do she, that like how much do you pay them to do that she <laughs> could smell the money tony, yeah t tony atlas was like well they're just starting out i would do it just to help them out 
which that was nice of him to say. Okay, but Do you not, don't you feel like an asshole? No, I don't. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like an asshole because I hate when people are entitled. I hate that. Like, mm -hmm. this guy comes around. He clearly has a snack card. He has a snack card. There's, like, chips. He has, like, 12-ounce soda cans and maybe what? $5 candy snack? bars. $5 candy bars. Yeah. Right? Doing his thing. Cause, and, and it was... It was provided by the venue. The venue provided this. Mm -hmm. This guy's working for the venue. He's not working for for Maples. He's working for, for the venue. Mm -hmm. Just pushing this card around, and he comes down where all the all the vendors are, and, you know, people would buy drinks and stuff off of him. Well, he stops at Tony Atlas's, and he's like, do you got any chicken wings? And... He was like, no, this is all I got. We're going to serve actual food here in a little bit. And he's like, well, do you, do you have chicken wings or grilled chicken or something? So it was gr grilled chicken. He's like, no, we're going to have chicken tenders. And he goes, oh, that, that food's fucking horrible for you. That was verbatim what he said to him. Wow, we could drop the like, F-bomb. <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he said to him. And I'm like, he's like, do you think I want that? And I'm like... This kid didn't go out, make you a five-course meal, and bring it to you thinking that he's trying to impress you. He's no. just telling you what they're going to serve you. No. No. I don't know. It, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't think it was very nice. No. I'll tell you who was nice was Dr. Tom. I act like we knew him for years. <laughs> yeah. Sure. He's like, gentlemen, you know, Scott Romer, love him to death. Gentlemen, a picture. We're, we're leaving, and he's like, let's get a picture of everybody. I was like, okay. And, like, he's gentlemen. like, hey, gentlemen. picture. And no one's going to tell Scott no. Gentlemen. You know? No one's going to tell gentlemen. Romer no. Um, old gentlemen. There's so many people in that picture, you didn't even know there's people in that picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shane Shane Douglas Shane over there. Douglas <laughs> like, what? What? I just dropped my phone. Oh God! Are you there? Yeah, I'm frozen though. Hang on, I'm coming back. Okay. <laughs> I okay. dropped my phone. He was, but no, Shane. Yeah, Shane Douglas was in that picture. Like what? Mm -hmm. I was so I didn't know he was even there. Mm -hmm. Did he just like? Did he get like brought in by like? the Romer tractor beam, like, <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, and Shane Douglas was in a 10-foot radius and heard, Romer, Romer, where's he at? <laughs> Gotta get in this picture. Um, not ever, not, there was some good stuff, like, it was nice seeing Dylan Bostic, I had not seen him in years, uh, yeah. shooting movies, you know, kids done just about everything. Um, yeah. it was yeah, nice I mean, seeing... Go ahead. He lives with Scott Rover. I mean, how, how, how awesome is that? Yeah, there's there's some stuff going on there. <laughs> people, a lot of people live in vicariously through people. <laughs> um, it was nice meeting uh, Henry. Well, not meeting. We met him last time. But seeing Henry Goblin again and uh, knowing who yeah. we were. Uh, Jeter just liked our photo. Johnny Jeter was supposed to do the show, but he just had a baby. Congratulations to him. Uh, hey Jeter. baby. If he's not on this season, he for sure will be on next season. Um, Johnny Jeter was one of my favorite OVW people. Oh, yeah. Without favorite. a doubt. Um, Without a doubt. I'll tell you what, Bob. I'm getting tired. We're counting down. Okay, well, <laughs> we can put a bow on her. Yeah, let's put a bow on her. I'm tired. <laughs> Well, we're going to try some experimental stuff. Oh, whoa. Um, try some different, what? different setups and stuff. We're going to get Morty a little setup over at his crib. Uh, yeah. And then we can do more stuff like this. Uh, For sure. More interviews coming tonight. We dropped Timmy Baltimore. Uh, this Friday will be Jeremiah Plunkett from the NWA. Uh, last last Friday was uh, Jackson Black. Check him out. Uh, independent professional wrestlers, reach out to us. Um, we'll have you on if you if people are wanting to sponsor 
uh, this show. I feel like we have the reach now. We have a strong presence in the U.S., yeah. in the U.K. Um, there's another place, too. Mexico and Indonesia. In Canada. We're big in Canada. Uh, so it grows, you know. So, you know, Prime, hit us up. We'll know we'll squeeze you in. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Morty. We're always available. Yeah, um, Facebook. Season four is going good, strong. Connecting to wrestling is going good, strong. Glow up more, more than likely will Long return future. in January 2023. Uh, more announcements coming after the first of the year. Uh, Hoping to do some more, uh, some more donut holes. Yep. Just throw them out there. My dad at this show. You never know. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, if the stream is choppy, I am upgrading the internet this week. So, um, it's a process. Hello, everybody. I'm Morty. And I'm Brian. <laughs> and this has been.